This year at IFA, we found more companies offering smart home devices. Our next guest is one of them, and they've got a pretty cool product we're anxious to show you on the radio, which means that you can come to intotomorrow.com anytime at your leisure and watch the videos of all of our guest interviews, our highlight videos, and all sorts of video snacks for you here from Berlin. Director of LifeX is Andrew Burt. Andrew, welcome into tomorrow. How are you, sir? Very well, Dave. You, uh, you, as a guest, you have a particular glow about you, <laughs> and we're about to find out why that is, because you've got an interesting Wi-Fi controlled light bulb. Yeah. And one would think, oh, well, that's cool, but what would you use that for? You're going to tell us. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I guess the interesting genesis of it is that our light bulbs haven't changed much in 100 years. Yeah, true. They've just been on and <laughs> off and, um, and and one color temperature. Yeah, and, and, and sometimes maybe you can dim some of them. That's uh, right. And maybe you can control them electronically and, and automatically. But you're right, for the most part, they're just on and off. They're it, light bulbs. Yeah, exactly. Right, right since Edison's time, and it really yeah. hasn't changed that much in kind of 125 years. And the advances of LED technology, for the first time, we can have full control of our lighting. So we can have any color, 16 million color palette. 60 million yeah, colors. Oh, sorry, 16. Oh, yeah. 16. Well, still, my gosh, yeah. I'd probably use only 4 million. <laughs> <laughs> On a good day. <laughs> On a good day, exactly. <laughs> um, and you're right about, I mean, here's, you know, since Edison's own invention, one would think, oh, my gosh, he must be turning over in his grave, as we say in, 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 in America, when yeah. somebody might be shocked about their invention. But I think he's just turning colors now. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so tell me, what is this this device called? Yeah, it's called LifeX. LifeX, which is L I F X. That's right. right. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And, and it'll replace a standard light bulb. Yeah, that's right. It's um. Speaking of Edison, it's an Edison screw uh, E twenty seven bulb. Good. Uh, and it screws into any Edison socket. And the Wi Fi connects to your home router, so you don't need to buy any extra hub or an extra bridge. All the technology lives within the light bulb itself. Nice. And this one, this is just a standard light fitting. It's just kind of a design. Yeah, what we're showing on yeah. on video right now, Chris has has got that for you. It's a really cool look. Now, show us how one would control it then, and talk about a mood. I mean, whatever your mood is, you've got 16 million of them <laughs> that you yeah. at your disposal. Yeah, right. definitely. Yeah, color control is definitely a big part of it. So I'm grabbing the iPad here and just yeah. going to show a quick demonstration. Um, so we've just got a color wheel that's kind of your full. Control so it's, of it's, the it's gone yeah. from orange to blue to red to pink to just now or I mean just so many different combinations of colors. Yeah, exactly. And and it's pretty awesome. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> and then there's the the dimming's a big part of it as well. So we've got kind of you can kind of dim right down. It tells ah, you the exact yes. percentage you're dimming. So you can go like right down to like six percent, or again if you go all the way up to a hundred percent. It, it, it turns to a white light. Yes, it's quite bright. Whoa, there you go. It's quite bright. So now it's an actual just light bulb to light the hallway or whatever it is yeah. you're using <laughs> it for. But the fact that you've got so many other options as well. That's exactly right. Is LifeX available now? Uh, it's it's available pre-order. So we began as a Kickstarter project. Cool. And we're fulfilling our Kickstarter orders during October. Uh, and then retail a little bit later in the year, um, working with with Best Buy. Oh, very good. So back back in the States, Best Buy will have it. How much will it sell for? Uh, it most likely be 89 US dollars. Uh, That's you know. reasonable. I was afraid you were going to tell me, oh, $200. And okay, you know, early yeah. adopters typically pay a lot more for something cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the fact of, of that 89 is reasonable. Imagine just the partying you can do with it, <laughs> yeah. let alone just fun stuff, you know, different colors down your hall or, or wherever you have a light bulb currently. Yeah. Have something like this. Now it'll work on, on a plethora of devices, right? You're using an iPad Mini uh, <laughs> right now, but you also have it on uh, on your iPhone. That's right, yeah. Uh, d tell me it works on Android as well? That's right. Android apps is coming. Um, okay. Yeah, this is just iPhone only at the moment, but gotcha. uh, in about a month, six weeks' time. Android. But being Wi-Fi, then apparently it's very easy to work with, so certainly it would work on any device that can do Wi-Fi, right? Yeah, that's right. We'll, we'll, um, we'll launch multi-application. Um, so, yeah, there's a uh, bit of software that we're using at the moment to mm -hmm. port across many devices. Um, cool. But that, that's a big priority for us. It's interesting you mentioned music too. Um, this will music visualize. No, I mean, can you can you demo that real quick? Um, We've only got about thirty seconds, uh, but so it like to the beat of the music, it'll change colors or, or throb or do something cool yeah. like that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, We've even got, better. I can't demo that right now. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Uh, nothing like putting you on the spot, literally, <laughs> yeah, on on the light bulb spot. Uh, how does the light bulb connect to the Wi-Fi though? I, how do you do that? Yeah, yeah. Um, so when you first buy the product, um, you take it home and you, you screw it into the standard socket. When you turn it on, it creates its own soft access point. So it's just basically giving off its own Wi-Fi signal. Then you download the app. The app 
can see. It add recognizes new it, right? Exactly. How many can you use at a time? Uh, the most we've tested at the moment is 70 devices. 70. Yeah. Okay, I think that'll pretty much cover my house. But yeah. uh, 70. All right, so multiples, and then, of course, can you control them individually then? Uh, exactly. That's, that's kind of the idea, that's right? That's right. Yeah, Different colors. and yeah. That's exactly it. We've got table lamp here. We're, we're calling it table lamp. Oh, okay. I'm just demonstrating. But then there's an all lights functionality as well. So oh, you can create right. so you can you can dim all at once or turn them all on or turn them all off at once just like you would in any other home automation type of environment. Exactly. Only yeah. this is so much cooler. Thank you. <laughs> it's the Wi-Fi light bulb that's called LifeX, L I F X and dot com is their website, cleverly enough. Oh, sorry, dot co. Oh, dot co. So we have corrections as we go. Dot <laughs> <coughs> co because you must be from the UK or uh, something? We're, we're Australian um, corporation. Australian, yeah. Okay. Wouldn't uh, that be dot au then or well, something? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone for a dot co. We couldn't get the dot com, unfortunately. Ah, <laughs> terrible thing. Okay, well then make sure you get it right. We'll link you to the right <laughs> website when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com. But lifx dot co will get you there. Can they pre-order on the website as yeah, well? Yeah, exactly. Pre-orders are Perfect. available now. Well, Andrew, thank you for joining us. Good luck. I'm glad we found you in the Tech Watch area. These are cool products available into tomorrow and available very soon. Um, and we'll certainly keep an eye on what's going on and talk more about it as they become more available. Thanks very much, Dave. Our pleasure. We're back with more next hour as Into Tomorrow continues from Berlin, Germany. Be sure to stay tuned. And, of course, hit us up at intotomorrow.com for links to Andrew's site and all of our guests. From here in Berlin, I'm Dave Graveline, bringing you further into tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.